Hello everyone. We have a new video in this series and in this video we will learn how to use Jinja2 templates in Ansible. So Jinja2 templates are very useful for uh, configuring some items like let's say you have a, a big configuration file or something you want to generate some report or you want to um, add the configuration to some device or anything is possible with the Jinja2 templates. Um, before that uh, if you are uh, uh, missing or if you miss any of the videos or uh, configurations uh, please see the github repo we have all the files here uh, playbooks and configurations and uh, if you miss any videos see the youtube playlist and you will see all the videos in a proper order okay um, okay for the ginger 2 template um, actually the purpose is to configure some items on the target machines like uh, also you can use for report generating with a proper format so in this uh, video we will go through some demo for showing how we can use Jinja2 template let's say you want to add some content on the target system with on some files something like that uh, we have a few modules like uh, line in file or block in file which we can use for add some lines or uh, a block of uh, lines on the target system like you want to add some entries in the etc host MOTD or some configuration in Nginx or HTTPD, yeah, whatever it is. But uh, when uh, we we do we do not have uh, much control on that. Let's say you have a lot of uh, lines, a lot of area you have to cover on this configuration uh, using Ansible. Jinja2 templates are very useful. So, for example, here I want to add some lines. So, Ansible, uh, I'm just I'm not creating any playbook. I will just try directly. So, Ansible, then I want to run it on nodes then uh, I want to execute a module called um, copy maybe uh, instead of copy I put okay line in file minus a uh, we pass arguments uh, in our case is a uh, path so I want to um, add something in etc slash um, MOTD okay and I need to add a line called line equal to we call like okay welcome very much and since it is in the etc um, i just use uh, minus p become i need to enable become before that we will check on the node one so i am going to ssh node one node one i am on node one so this is configured by ansible this is the uh, motd right now so we will try something like cat etc motd okay uh, this is configured by Ansible. So this is the value we can see right now. What we are going to do is we are going to replace this. So I use Ansible node run in file and yes, we are going to execute this. Okay, it's changed already. Now we will try here again. Okay, this is configured by Ansible and there is a new line because line in file will just add another line if it does not exist. So if I execute it again, uh, nothing will happen because the line already there so um, changed equal to false so this is good if you have a small configuration to change let's say if you have more lines to add yes you can use um, block so which you can add a, a, a specific number of lines or block uh, to a target system this is fine but what if i have a long file but i need to replace um, few variables or few items in some places of the configuration or target file like a report i want to enter only in the table like that so in that case we cannot use this line in file or block in file so we have to use um, a an option called templates so in ansible we use jinja2 templates okay we will try a simple playbook first so we inside yaml we have a dummy here so using jinja2 uh, okay using jinja2 templates and uh, target is hearts become yes okay so we will use a few tasks here so the first task is um, I want to deploy sorry deploy MOTD so here I put uh, earlier we used line in file then I put path tc 
slash modd uh, sorry for that modd then line i put um welcome okay so this is the one we just tried uh what if i want to um add something like uh instead of this um uh see motd so i am executing this file but i want to execute that okay welcome to the node name so uh, i want uh, ansible uh, and use ansible to print something with some customized value on the target machine okay so here okay we have this thing like this is configured by ansible okay we will take this and welcome to this machine and we add something else okay so for that what we have to do is instead of line and file we are going to use a template so the first thing we have to do is beam motd dot j2 so you can use any extension but we use the com common one which is called dot j2 so this is a template we are going to create going to create so we have um, we have to add something like okay welcome to then i have to add the node let it be the this emote this message is configured by ansible okay i have two lines is fine so i have to add um, welcome to maybe the ansible machine name okay so what i use I can insert a variable so you remember what is a variable name for uh, node name okay so you have to tell me so what is a variable you are going to use here because I want to print the node name for uh, hundreds of servers so I cannot put it uh, node 1 or node 2 here so I am going to use ansible facts okay if you have any questions or confusion on the ansible facts okay see the video on ansible facts uh, you have a detailed one um, on Ansible facts, custom facts, all those things in our YouTube uh, playlist. Okay, here I am going to use Ansible uh, host name. You can use Ansible uh, inventory inventory host name, Ansible host name, or you can even use Ansible underscore facts. Then I use host name because uh, this Ansible underscore facts then host name is the actual value collected from this node. Okay then i have to print something like uh, ip address of the host so how to use that so i put okay ip address what is ip address so i will use ansible underscore facts if you remember it will be like a default then we will use okay uh, default sorry i think it's ipv4 dot address okay i believe this is the one we will adjust it if it's an error <laughs> okay so i have a template where the ansible is supposed to replace with this variable and i have another one ip address then another message and uh, if you want some lines or something you can put anything here this is just a template okay so this is the jinja2 template you can use loops you can use conditions everything inside that we will learn later so for now this is a very simple one so you just print welcome to the machine name and ip address okay now inside the template inside the playbook we are going to use this template so how to use a template so here we will use instead of line in file i'm going to use template we are not going to use sorry template we are not going to use uh, copy we are not going to use line in file or any other thing but we use template and um, instead of um, path it will be destination and what will be the source source is source is you just have to source is the motd dot j2 so we are telling ansible to use the motd dot j2 template and replace the variable as needed and push it on the target or destination you can add the ownership um, mod all those things same like copy but we are making it very simple here so template module will template the file with uh, a proper variable values inside and it will push to the target machines it's very simple okay 
now ansible playbook 30 ml so it's collecting of course we have to gather the facts because we are using the ansible facts inside the playbook so it's changed good now we will go and check ssh node 1 okay good so it's saying welcome to ansible node 1 ip address 15 this message is configured by ansible nice okay i want to check node 2 great it says welcome to ansible node 2 ip address is 15 of course this is a uh, same ip address because uh, we are using the nat for the vagrant uh, or the virtual box machine so the ip will be same if you are using the nat network or something else this ip will be different okay also we have another internal ip uh, for this lab uh, i can show that using uh, different uh, ansible facts now i use ansible default one okay hope you can understand that then uh, maybe we can try one some more value uh, maybe i put like um, some cpu or memory information vim motd you can use anything like actually so you can use uh, but i just want to add something else so i want to add few more details inside this uh template for example so uh here i add something here uh, this is just for a decoration um you can modify anything like this so just want to make it like something um so we put something like okay uh access is uh something like okay access is uh, maybe access is restricted if you are not authorized to use it please exit log out log out from this system something typical uh, warning message uh authorized to use it i just put like here please log out okay uh maybe i want to add something more so i want uh if you have any issues please contact i need system admin okay system underscore admin system admin email maybe so we have a variable here so we are telling we are just uh uh messaging like okay if you have any issue please contact the system admin email uh this is system admin email is uh nowhere we have to define this it's not there so if i try now what will happen so i'm trying this uh it will throw error because the variable is undefined okay so we have to use like ansible site.yml so i put like uh, wars you can put variables anywhere maybe inside the inventory or inside some custom facts anything so here i put like um system admin underscore email then i put some variable here i put maybe admin at lab dot local great now we execute again so ansible already uh, able to template the content and put it on motd okay now we try here great we have welcome to ansible these values are redefined already then we have a new text here then we have this access is restricted if you are not authorized to use it yeah all those things we have added and this is another one we have a variable it's already replaced with the proper value so this is how you can use ansible fact or variable inside the template and use it great okay we will go to one more example here okay now i want to add something uh, under etc host so slash etc host so i have uh, this uh, etc host file here i want to add line so you can add either you can add uh, this same line or you can add uh, using line in file or anything but in some of the cases maybe you have to add uh, some specific uh, dns information or host information on all the all the hosts inside this environment you can use um, this MOTD templates and push to all the nodes so it's uh, very easy so you just need to manage uh, like a single source uh, of truth inside a variable and use the emo use the template and pass it to the host it's possible we are not going to do that demo if you want to see the demo 
please ask in the comment box i will add a playbook in the repository okay and um, maybe we will try a loop inside the template and uh, yeah that one we will see in the next video okay and uh, hope you have got some idea on the these two templates here so it will show you all the details like um, templating uh, Jinja 2 if you open you will see all the options like um, how to define undefined variable let's say you define one variable variable but ansible will throw error so you can use some options here so if i add this uh, option even though the variable is not defined it will still uh, proceed with something okay uh, then you have option like uh, variable optional variable so you can put uh, if if the variable is not defined it will omit it these are advanced topic you can refer the documentation and try it check the playlist for full videos in ansible series and uh, please subscribe to this youtube channel to get all the latest videos and uh, thank you uh, see you next time with another video bye